Just when you thought it was never going to happen. Dan and Libby are finally getting <laughs> hitched. It's about bloody time. <laughs> Libby Kennedy, will you marry me? Damn straight, I will. <laughs> Why did it take so long for Libby and Dan to get married? There were lots of issues, really. There was the fact that you were already married. Yeah, there's that, that one. That, that, little, you know, that little chestnut. That doesn't help. Then there was Lucas. And then the, oh, then there was, you know, Libby, just having a relationship brother a with his brother. Oh, okay, okay, listen. You couldn't resist one last try, could you, hey? Mate, don't do this, okay? There is nothing going on. What do you so think Libby, you Shooting the wedding. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, the wedding. I've never been married, so for me it's great because it's like, this is what it's like and you I don't that... have to do it for real. We got very lucky. The weather was nice and we're out at a place called Montalvet, which, which is, is this beautiful. little monastery. Yeah, it was beautiful. So it was a great beautiful day. Beautiful location. And, fi- and good to finally actually, you know, get to that to that point. It's now my great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Yeah. <laughs> We can't have um, anything go to plan, really, can we? Especially weddings. At the time, Libby actually doesn't know what the pain is, but she has an idea that it's related to possibly being in the family way. But because given her history and and her injuries that she got and how she was told she couldn't have children, it was too risky, she knows that if she says something, there's going to be a big drama. So she keeps it to herself and she suffers through the pain Mm. because she has to say, I do. Yes, she must. To this big, hunky wall of man. Hi there, I'm Dan Fitzgerald. Some on-screen romances. Oh, that can be a debacle. <laughs> but regardless, in, in, in a good way or a but bad way, you're definitely bringing. You're going to be closer, whether you like it or not. Yeah, we spend a lot of time together, and and, and, and Kim spends a lot of time. That's how you might do you like like that. I'm very affectionate with the tuck tuck. Oh, I can't talk when this happens, sorry. I'm playing with his hair. Uh. We actually do become like a married <laughs> couple. You do become comfortable in each other's space. And I've got to remember to brush my teeth when we kiss and stuff like I always forget and I've got biscuits in my teeth. When was that? When was our first, like, proper cash? Remember. Wasn't it when I was in the school uniform? The, not the school uniform. <laughs> oh, God. I don't that was that, it. I think I would have remembered that. Was it at the sink? And you were behind me and it was, you know. Oh, that's right. Dashy. I swung you around. And you swung me around and kissed me. I don't and want I want any of that. And I freaked <laughs> out and stormed out. Yes, that. Why did you and storm we, out? No, why I stopped you, at the door. Why would you And then do you that? turned oh, me around right. slowly and we kissed them all. How close is Lippy to me? I don't know. I think my sense of humour comes. Through. Look, in some ways, Dan's probably a much better person than I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. You know, he's far more reliable. Um, he's the sort of pe- person that people look up to. That's not me. I look up to you because you're so freaking yeah, tall. Yeah, that's about the only, only, only physically, you know, not in any other way. I don't right. lead by example. Dan does. No, he's a bit of he a superhero. He's a superhero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got, I have got superhero powers. Like I can, I can fly, and I do yeah. have. The invisibility power, which I don't choose to use very often, no. but he's 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 just better than me. It's that simple. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. <clears throat> um, what do I love about you? Um, he's a good man. He's a good man. He's an honourable man, and um, I think he's Libby's equal emotionally and intellectually, and all of that stuff. I think they're a great match. They're both very reliable people, and and strong people so and and the sort of people that help other people so yeah they're good people you're a good duo you made it nothing was gonna stop me so now we can live happily ever after well now don't get carried away kimmy this is neighbors